Alrighty, and welcome back to some more Easy Harmonica Blues. And today we're going to do some vamping. Now, vamping is really cool, it's really simple, it's really basic, so it's something I like to focus like surprisingly quite a lot of time on. Now, last week we were doing a 12 bar blues, which had that you know, regular sort of structure. With a vamp, the trick is its structure and how to play with that structure, how to sort of create a song or to create something you, know, you can listen to without a lot of structure. So what am I talking about with a vamp? We've done these a lot before. So that's the vamp. Very simple, only uses two holes. So it's two hole draw, two hole blow, one hole draw, and then back to two hole draw. Now the trick with the vamp, I guess, is if you play it very simply like Very simple, very basic. So what I tend to generally like to do is I like to bend the two-hole draw into just two-hole whenever I get a chance. So the structure is two-hole draw, two-hole blow, one-hole draw, one-hole or two-hole blow, and then it repeats. So when I do that, every time I go past the two-hole draw, I'm going to bend it. So it starts on two-hole draw, so so I've got options there, so I can go or So what I try and do is I try and get that two hole bend into just two hole basically wherever I can, and I get a little bit sloppy. So instead of just playing really clean single notes without that bend, I can put the bend in and get a bit sloppier and also a bit of a swingy sort of rhythm. So. So that's the main way that I want to play it today. <clears throat> Heard Jason playing this one recently, and yeah, with that, just that um, single note vamp, that. Gets even simpler, even more sparse. So yeah, so what I would like to do, like what my plan is with these, is I want hypnotic repetitive trance like so I really want to get that sort of rhythm going and then I can expand so way I like to practice these is I've got our cowbell metronome we're going to use that on the two and the four so we've got like an 11 minute backing track so there's plenty of time so the way that I want you to sort of think about this is these are very traditional harmonica so back porch you know you're sitting back relaxing yeah, not much to sort of do, so you're just going to swing along for a little bit. So what I was thinking when I was doing that is I was repeating everything twice. So I had the little va ba 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 two of them, and then va ba da va da va ba da va da va da 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 va da 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 va da va da va da va da. So the trick, I guess, is to get the repeats happening. So Adam Neely, repetition legitimizes. So we want to be repetitive. But if we're too repetitive, that gets boring. So that's a little balancing act that we've sort of got. So let's play one and have a bit of a listen. So like I said, metronomes on the two and four. So we'll get that running first. And the reason why I like to use a metronome is it's really easy to let your tempo slide. 
sort of like the hardest thing I think in music is having a really strong tempo. So most of the time when I practice, I like to have something doing that really solid tempo. The other thing with music is most of the time you're playing with other people. So if I'm just sort of playing by myself, it doesn't really matter what I do, I can slide my tempo all over the place. But I want to keep in, you know, I want to play with this dude on this cowbell here. So we need to play together. So as opposed to just like wandering off in my head and sliding all over the place, I want to come back to this tempo. And I want it to be fairly slow, so I've got a lot of time to think. Okay, so we're going to get established, and I'm going to do that. Va ba, va ba, va ba 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 ba. But we've got to get that metronome on the two and the four. So the easy way to count that is we go one, 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 two, three, four, one. Didn't get it. Go again. One. One, 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 two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Let's get our vamp going. So. playing that today I really felt like doing that double repeat so so we're going to stick with that one today because yeah this isn't really do the thing it's how you feel so today I'm feeling that so nice and slow almost painfully slow I tried to get this about as slow as I could and still swing it because yeah it's actually a bit of a challenge going really slow and still keeping that swing sort of feel so yeah lots of things we can do with our textures there like you'll hear that just that single note it's really good but I'm doing a lot of so blending in two notes that's hole one and hole two just sort of spreading out my lips a little bit and then all the percussive -y sort of tick tock ba ba da pa. Now, I'm only using draw notes, I'm not doing any like blows or anything there. So, again, my basic sort of pattern is just that two hole draw, slop it up a little bit, add some texture to it, and then our little vamp pattern on the two hole and the one hole. So. that's faster than the metronome so let's get the metronome back in there <clears throat> so beat 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 two three four one two three
we've got that established, we can move around a little bit. Add in a few little extra bits and pieces. Doesn't have to be too much, so let's add some. stuff happening in there. We've got our can fiddle around with the rhythm on that. Really just accent the rhythm more so than the notes there. Then I've got my nice little vamp shuffle. Put a little band, three draw band in there. So yeah, you can add in whatever you sort of like. So it's nice and slow. So established first. So I'm going to play the hypnotic one for a while. I'm just going to try and play it for about as long as I sort of can before I put in any variations. Thank you. 
finish off however you sort of like just a bit of variation for the end as you can hear so yeah super cool as you can hear i got a little bit obsessed with that three draw bend trying to get a as well as one with vibrato one with the hands so yeah that's the what i want to do you explore you get into that nice hypnotic sort of pattern and something will go oh i like the sound of that doesn't have to be fast doesn't have to be heaps of notes can even be space taking something away oh expected that there so yeah get out there have a bit of an experimentation and have some fun haha <laughs>